Hello everyone, welcome to day 5 of my 30 days of gouache. I'm Cryptic Inc, and before I start the video, I'd like to answer a question from user Phoenix023. Hello, <laughs> here on YouTube, who asked what my recording setup looked like. So here it is in all its glory. It's pretty simple, even though at first setting up for recording took me a little bit of time to figure out. It's just a tripod that sits on this little binder that I have so that it leans forward just enough to record my desk without falling over. I use two lamps for my lighting in every video and they are this clip-on lamp that I ordered online and a floor lamp that I've had for a while. With two sources of lighting, I figured my hand would throw less shadows than when I'm recording. Um, plus the light in the room, it's just brighter that way. <laughs> I think the setup really works for me so far. I think that anyone can do it as long as you've got a sturdy tripod and a recording device. It wasn't terribly expensive and not too hard to set up. So that's some behind the scenes for you. I hope that answered your question all right. I will leave some info as to the camera I use to record as well um, for those that are interested. So on to the painting. This is part two of my Cthulhu painting. This morning we went to the store to pick up some books, had some coffee and breakfast, and came back to watch a movie before I actually even got to painting today. I'm a big reader though, so I always enjoy the chance to spend an hour at a bookstore when I can. Um, today I got the third book of the Miss Peregrine series and it is so good, <laughs> but I won't spoil anything. Um, painting today, I am mostly finishing the parts of Cthulhu that I didn't finish yesterday, which are his hand and the background, plus some finer details in the outline and the stars. I was going to leave the wood around the image, but well, you'll see in the end, I thought the dark background would make the colors pop even more like I wanted them to and to give it more of a spacey feeling. I don't know. <laughs> I was tempted to darken the greens and purples a lot more, but I decided to stick it out and see how I liked it when all the colors were in there. I feel like I'm learning more and more about gouache every time I pick it up, like how some colors seem more easy to reactivate with water after drying out than others for some reason. Um, spritzing my palette with a spray bottle is definitely a lot easier than dropping it in with a soaping wet paintbrush. And it's a good idea to change out my water cup a lot more often than I have been. <laughs> now that I've been paying more attention to taking care of my brushes, I feel like there are a lot of these little painting habits that I could form that would make the process a lot easier and a lot less messy. I think that with everything you learn, we know that not everything comes all at once. It's like a new discovery every day, no matter how small or mundane. Even when it's frustrating, it's like all the hard parts of the process are setting you up for an easier time in the future. And eventually when you do something enough, even the little habits such as how you place your supplies or in what order you work um, on something just kind of falls into place. But I don't know, <laughs> maybe I am overthinking it. But that said, now that I've finished this painting, tomorrow I think I'll take it back to something smaller or maybe a few sketches in my sketchbook. Before the end of this 30 days, I'd be happy to do a few more of these suggestions though. Um, definitely keep an ear out for it if that's something that sounds cool to you. And I also wanted to mention that I've gotten a few emails and messages and comments saying that some of you who've been watching so far have been inspired to make art or to start using gouache for the first time or to even pick it up again after a while, which is awesome. Like seriously, when I see messages like this, um, I have to smile because although I don't didn't think or expect my personal challenge to have that effect on people, it's really heartwarming to hear that I've inspired anybody to try something new or to make something with art in general. Um, if you're working in gouache too, even if it's not for the 30 days of gouache challenge that I'm doing, if you feel like sharing, I would love to see it. I will say that I might be a little slow to reply to a lot of comments and messages for the next few days though. I have been using my phone data to upload these videos on time these past couple days. So we won't have actual internet until in the new apartment until Monday, but I will reply as quickly as I can. But yeah, as this video is coming to a close, as a final note on the painting, I will say that I enjoyed the process and I was happy to put these new paints to good work. While working on it, I'm starting to figure out how I might be able to use the fact that the paint lifts when you add new paint or water to my advantage. 
I think if I take care not to use too much water, I might be able to blend more easily without taking all the paint with me. So I'm gonna be working on that. And I'm interested to see how the colors will lay on a textured surface, um, like watercolor paper. I'm sure they'll do fine. I'm just interested to see what that's going to look like. The only thing I wish I would have done with the painting was to paint the very fine lines and white outline with gouache instead of ink and my silver gel pen. I was striving for using only gouache in this painting all the way up to the end, but none of my brushes seemed to be small enough to get the thin lines that I wanted. I think my smallish brush size right now is a round size 4. Um, that's not too bad though. I figure I can just get brushes as I need them and not have a massive pack where I only use two or three. So trust me, this small brush issue will be rectified. <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy that you've stopped by today. I hope that you all enjoyed tonight's video. As always, I will see you in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. And happy painting for those of you that are painting and making art. All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.